Initiate the orbital defense system. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. But when there's, when there's research about food or about your health, a lot of times there's stuff that, you, that has immediacy. You can put it to use right away. So cancer starving foods, regenerative foods, gut health foods that can also help your brain, foods that slow down cellular aging, foods that lower inflammation and boost your immune system at the same time. You know, that's what I'm talking about because the power of healing rests inside our body and health care is not something that we need to rely on when we go to the doctor's office, right? Every year you go once. Healthcare is everything in between that we do for ourselves and food is a medicine that we take. That was Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee believes the key to preventing and even reversing chronic diseases like cancer and heart disease could be chilling right in your fridge. Dr. Lee is uncovering the hidden potential within everyday ingredients. As president of the Angiogenesis Foundation, Dr. Lee leads the charge in studying how the food we eat impacts the intricate network of blood vessels throughout our bodies. This groundbreaking research led him to create the concept of Grand Slammer Foods, a lineup of plant-based superstars that hit a home run for your health. These aren't just any fruits and veggies, they're powerhouses that Dr. Lee believes activate all five health defense systems in your body. Now, what exactly are these defense systems? Multiple Kryptonian defense systems engage. Imagine them like your body's a team, working together to keep you healthy. They include the angiogenesis system, keeps your blood vessels healthy for smooth blood flow. The immune system, your first line of defense against invaders like bacteria and viruses. The inflammation system, helps fight off short-term flare-ups, but chronic inflammation can be a problem. The insulin resistance system, keeps your blood sugar levels in check. The gut microbiome system, supports the trillions of tiny creatures living in your gut, crucial for digestion and overall health. So, what kind of foods make it onto Dr. Lee's Grand Slammer list? Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. In the defense system and... Uh... Think colorful fruits and veggies packed with vitamins and antioxidants, like berries, leafy greens, and cruciferous vegetables. Nuts and seeds like walnuts and flax seeds bring in healthy fats and fiber. By incorporating a variety of these Grand Slammer foods into your diet, you're giving your body the natural tools it needs to thrive. These five snacks are packed with Dr. Lee's Grand Slammer ingredients, offering a delicious and portable way to fuel your body with a variety of health benefits. Okay, no defense system. Now, Dr. Lee will talk about a few of the ingredients in the first snack. There are foods that just can actually automatically boost our immune system by themselves. Mm -hmm. One of them is mango. You know, I love mangoes. They're juicy, sweet, filled with fiber. They got lots of vitamins and they also have bioactives. And, and I call them mango, by the way, mangoes and stone fruit, grand slammers of foods. These are foods, a whole table of foods I have in my, um, in my uh, book that all activate all five um, uh, defense systems at the same time, including the immune system. So you can slam it out of the park by eating these foods. Mango is one of my favorites. Tasty, juicy, sweet. You get vitamins, good minerals, and it actually contains these natural bioactives that actually can help boost your immune system. Next ingredient. Sprouted pumpkin seeds. Now, pumpkin seeds are actually a traditional uh, food uh, snack, actually, in Spain. Papitas. And these are sprouted, and I'm going to show you Here's what they look like. I'm going to try one. Mmm. Really good. Good source of dietary fiber. You've got polyunsaturated fatty acids, which is good for the microbiome. Um, so is the fiber. But what's really interesting is there was a study done with almost 4,000 people showing that um, those people, those women eating pumpkin seeds, actually had a lower risk of breast cancer by about 34%. And now the first snack, Tropical Trail Mix Extravaganza. Mix together dried fruits like chopped mangoes, apricots, blueberries, cherries, and kiwi. Add in a variety of seeds like flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, and sunflower seeds. Toss in some chopped walnuts for extra protein and a satisfying crunch. Drizzle with a touch of melted dark chocolate for an extra antioxidant boost. Uh, defense system offline! Um, now? Dr. Lee will talk about a few of the Grand Slammer ingredients for the second snack. 
just by eating like a cup and a half of blueberries um, uh, uh, a day, you can uh, elevate your uh, T cells by like 88%. Okay. Um, and athletes that actually eat uh, blueberries regularly, they just walk around with a higher level of immunity to begin with. Next ingredient. And it's been shown that eating just one kiwi a day can actually cause your blood to be fortified to neutralize about 60% of the incoming damage from DNA. A kiwi you might eat at breakfast. You know that brown fuzzy ball, you cut it open, it's got this emerald green uh, interior with a little white starburst. You know, it's kind of tart and sweet at the same time. Well, that kiwi is packed with vitamins and antioxidants. And if you eat three kiwis a day, it will help your DNA build itself back up so so that damaged DNA will be repaired. Now, the second Grand Slammer snack. Berry Blast Smoothie Bowl. Blend frozen blueberries, cherries, and a splash of kefir for a creamy base. Top with chopped fresh fruit like kiwi, mango, and nectarine. Sprinkle with a mix of flax seeds and chia seeds. Drizzle with a touch of honey for sweetness. Defense system online. Dr. Lee describes a few of the ingredients from the third snack. I, I also want to point out, particularly as people are getting older, that soy in its whole form, like edamame, or its fermented forms like tofu and tempeh, mm -hmm. um, etc., they're good sources of protein as well. And, you know, we mm -hmm. talk about all the bioactives and all that stuff, but let's not forget about the fact that we need good, healthy intake of protein. That's something that is so important as we age mm. to have the proper amount. You know, you don't want to overload yourself on protein, but you also don't want to ignore some of these plant-based foods. You know, people go, well, you know, if you're telling me not to eat red meat, well, I'm not going to be having that much protein. Wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, soy foods, nuts and legumes, great sources of healthy proteins uh, as well. So let's not forget about that. And now the next ingredient. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I am at the market once again, and I want to show you a couple of things that I found that I think is worthy of showing you, sharing with you. Okay, so I don't go around trashing other people's products, but I want to show you amazing things that I'm actually looking at. Check this out. Kale, right? Kale is a brassica. It contains uh, healthy bioactives uh, like isothiocyanates, hard to pronounce, ITCs, they uh, create sulforaphanes and the things that make broccoli take, taste kind of sulfury. Uh, but it's really good for you. It's good for your immune system, good for cancer fighting, good for your circulation, good for your gut microbiome. Most of these uh, uh, kale has its great source of dietary fiber. You always think about kale as one thing, right? Like this. Always think about kale looking like this. That's your mother's kale. Let me show you some really cool kale. This is a kind of kale called laxinato, also called dinosaur kale. Doesn't this look like dinosaur skin? Check it out. Jurassic kale, that's what this is. All right, laxinato, it's also called cavalinero. A lot of people don't know, but this kind of kale, dinosaur kale, is what's used to create minestrone soup. You know those little black um, uh, little squares in the soup floating around? That is dinosaur kale, uh, laxinato kale, Tuscan kale is in the kale. Now, I want to show you something that is more unusual, because I haven't seen this before. Spigarello kale. Look at this. Spigarello kale. Wow. Very different, huh? Look at that. It looks like a arugula almost. Um, but this is a kind of kale, and it just shows you how many different types of healthy foods there are. Look at this right here. All right? Looks like like grow under the sea or something. Healthy, good, good for you. If you don't know how to actually cook something, um, I have no idea how to cook spigarello kale. What I recommend you do is to type it into Google. Spigarello kale, for example. Uh, Tuscan kale, dinosaur kale. Recipe and hit video. And watch somebody who knows what they're doing show you how to make something absolutely delicious. So if you want to learn more, about food as medicine and really cool foods that you might not have thought about to light up your health defenses, light up your metabolism, light up your life, get to better longevity. Uh, come over and uh, follow me. Sign up for uh, my uh, stuff on my website uh, or uh, www.drdrwilliamlee.com. And um, by the way, I do teach a course, online course called Eat to Beat Disease course. 
This is a deep dive with me. I take you with me on this journey of how to use food as medicine, foods that taste great. All right, Dr. Lee out. Now the third Grand Slammer snack, Asian Edamame Power Salad. Steam a cup of Edamame for protein and fiber. Toss with a bed of baby spinach, vitamin K, and chopped kale. Add sliced lychee and chopped carrots for sweetness and crunch. Drizzle with a sesame ginger dressing for a flavorful twist. Sprinkle with toasted sesame seeds for added flavor and texture. Skynet defense system We're in. now activated. More from Dr. Lee about Grand Slammer ingredients in the fourth snack. I want to show you some other um, metabolism fighting ingredients that you should know about and good for your health defenses as well. Carrots. Carrots have been shown to fight harmful body fats, good source of, of, uh, of uh, dietary fiber, but also contains beta cryptoxanthin, which um, helps to activate your brown fat. Next ingredient. Our telomeres are getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. Remember that powder keg I was telling you about? When you get down to the powder keg, man, game over, right? You can't run away from that blast far enough. And so basically what you want to do is slow that fuse down. It turns out that sunflower seeds can actually naturally slow down telomere degradation. The fourth Grand Slammer snack, fiddlehead and veggie hummus plate. Steam fiddleheads for a unique and delicious veggie. Pair them with sliced carrots bell peppers, and cherry tomatoes. Serve with a dollop of olive oil-based hummus. Sprinkle with a mix of pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds for added texture and minerals. Orbital defense system compromised. Dr. Lee will now talk about a few Grand Slammer ingredients from the final snack. Now I'm going to throw one last kind of delight and surprise that can help your stem cells, which help to rebuild your brain and your heart and your muscles, actually is dark chocolate. Turns out, chocolate's a candy. Okay, it's a confection. But to make dark chocolate, you have high amounts, 70%, 80%, 90% cacao. Cacao is actually from a seed pod, the cacao plant. And that's a plant-based food. It turns out there's natural chemicals, bioactives in cacao made in dark chocolate at high concentrations that help our stem cells come out and rebuild our muscles, our circulation, many other parts that need to be renewed. And as we get older, one of the things we want to do is we want to continuously be renewed rather than broken down. These are some of the ways that we think about diet and longevity. And now, the fifth Grand Slammer snack, dark chocolate and berry chia pudding. Soak chia seeds overnight in almond milk or coconut milk. Layer with a mix of chopped berries, blueberries, cherries, etc. And a dollop of plain Greek yogurt. Top with a few squares of dark chocolate for antioxidants and a touch of sweetness. Sprinkle with a pinch of black tea leaves. Defense system is offline. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.